yes or no to this statement. The constitutional right to bear arms has outlived its usefulness. The strongest argument for substantive constitutional rights is when you believe that a vulnerable, minor vulnerable minority is likely to be victimized by what Americans learn to call the tyranny of the majority. Whatever your views are on gun control, at least right now and throughout most of American history, it is so wildly unlikely that the, however many people own the 300 million guns, because most people who own guns, I think, own multiple guns, that they are comparable to Jehovah's Witnesses, say, or some other vulnerable minority, that they need the special concern of judges basically to make up public policy for the entire country. Okay. Constitutional rights are not only for persecuted minorities. I don't think ABC, CBS, The New York Times, and The New York Daily News uh, are comparable to Jehovah's Witnesses either, and it's very important that there be a strong First Amendment to protect them. And in Nebraska, where the right to arms is culturally strong, the Second Amendment is still necessary for exactly one of the issues you raised, uh, the right of legal permanent resident aliens to obtain concealed carry permits to carry uh, handguns for lawful protection as, as law-abiding American citizens can do. And unfortunately, there are in this large and diverse country, just about anything that you can say is nationally popular is going to be nationally unpopular with some local group uh, of people who don't celebrate diversity and respect all rights.